Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Art and Outdoor Life here with John. I hope that you're having a great day, a good morning, great evening, wherever you are. And I hope that you enjoy this video. Thank you for viewing. Welcome back, everybody. I hope that you're doing good. Okay, so I'm using cobalt blue for the sky. And I misted the paper fairly good, uh, but not too wet to, uh, you know, to cause it much of the water and the paint dripping down. So I've put in my sky with the cobalt blue and just with little pieces of uh, paper towel, kind of dabbing in some clouds, just kind of randomly. Yeah. Uh, I'll be using uh, cobalt blue for the sky, kind of outlined a little bit of the pond there. Uh, raw umber and some burnt sienna. I'll be using uh, some Prussian blue and uh, some sap green and some gambage, which is kind of a, it's a, an orangish color. It's almost like a, it, it, it's more vibrant than your yellow ochre for sure. So here I'm just outlining a mountain range. I was thinking, well, and this is with uh, burnt umber, or raw umber, it's an umber. Um, so I was thinking, well, what if, you know, I was sitting in front of a, a small pond in front of the mountains, right? And I was thinking, that's where I want to be. <laughs> Uh, anyways, so, um, everything is in this video here is basically shapes, uh, I mean, most paintings are, right? But, I mean, these are pretty basic, I, I think. Um, it's good to follow along, or if it doesn't, if you can't follow along, then maybe you'll get some ideas and maybe, uh, you know, create your own kind of scene. Okay, I'm using different brushes here. Now, and this is from imagination. I'm going to try to put a small camper here. Okay, so that's why I'm outlining it very lightly. And it's a box, right? Kind of a box. And I'll come back to it later, but I wanted it to, I wanted to outline it fairly quick and, you know, in the beginning of the painting here. So I knew where the, this little camper would be at. And then, uh, of course, come back to it later and finish it up. You don't have to put a, a camper there if you don't want to. Uh, of course, you know, you could put a tent there. You could put a, just trees there. You can put uh, maybe a, a cabin there. Whatever you want. So, uh, yeah, my nerves are kind of getting to me a little bit. So, I might not talk a whole lot in this video. Um, I, did, I do want to say thank you, though, for everybody who's viewing this and watching this. I really appreciate it. Um, and also, uh, I wanted to say something else about my other videos I've done. Some of them I've done are just music. And a lot of times... I've put the music on there well, for a couple reasons. One, 
being that um, my nerves were just too bad to talk through a whole, you know, 25 minutes or whatever. And other times I just wanted music in there, you know, to give uh, a feel to the, the painting, a different kind of a feel. Now, when I'm painting, I don't listen to music. And I don't listen to TV or nothing. <clears throat> um, I, I just get lost in myself. And once I start the process, it it's, you know, I don't stop. I just keep going. So, like, in this video, you'll see, you know, spots that um, I overdid it or I underdid it or... You know, whatever. Um, but that's because it's, you know, it's all of uh, the creating process. So for you, you know, it may be different. And, you know, we all have that. Um, it's just a creating process to where one thing leads to another and then another thing leads to another. And, you know, uh when you're in these processes uh, of painting, then your mind is is reacting to everything. You're, uh, you know, and what you don't know in in the back of your mind, in your subconscious mind, things are going on with colors and shapes, and you know where you're at in the painting. I'm one of those people I like to put myself there, like I'm actually there. That's why it is a great escape for me. Okay, so with a little bit of white, I just kind of dabbed along the top of those mountains to give it a little bit of snow. And then uh, with the same umber, I came back and basically I'm creating a the base of the mountain and then filling in some of the mountain with some more umber where you know some of the snow is not on there and with the card these little bitty uh you know they're gift cards they hang on your keychains you know those those small cards plastic cards i'm just uh, creating little rocks here along the base of the mountain. Okay. I wanted to get uh, midway up. I wanted to get that out of the way fairly quickly. And I wanted uh, my little camper to be outlined so I didn't go over it. And uh, so now I'm I'm just pushing in some green here, sap green. There. And uh, on the right, I love using these hake brushes because they they do give that leaf effect. The very tip of the bristles on the brush. The I mean these are very versatile brushes. They could do so many things. Um, this is the that is the Ron Ranson Hake brush. You could find them online for maybe twenty dollars at the most, and I I think there's like five different kinds you got you could buy, and this is the medium Hake. Um, the paper I'm using is, uh, it's around, I don't know if it's 11 by 13 or 11 by 15, something like that in there. Normally I, I like to use, uh, brushes that are, or paper that is nine by 12 is my go-to size. And um, here in a month and a half, it'll be two years since I started painting. I didn't 
didn't know I can do it. I, was, I, it, I stumbled across it on accident. Uh, I don't believe in accidents. I believe things happen for a reason. But um, it was uh, brought up to me, and I said, okay, I'll try it. And I have not stopped since. It's so relaxing and rewarding. Now here I'm putting in some fir trees or pines or whatever and with the fan brush, just kind of going back and forth. Careful not to put too much, uh, use up too much real estate. Real estate meaning, uh, you know, the size of your your paper because you can end up covering up a lot with your trees so as I'm going to my right I'm kind of making those trees fade off into the mountains okay and then I was like well let's try this okay in case I wanted it that to be the lake or pond we'll bring it down very gently and then we'll just kind of swoop it across try to get some kind of a sheen again this is all happening in real time and um, decisions are being made at the you know as you're watching it and one thing is really cool about when you paint and you record yourself is you always see things that you didn't realize you were doing while you know while you were painting so you know it's a wonderful tool that we have in this day and age to be able to video ourselves and you can learn a lot from videoing your uh, your painting no matter what level you're on um, and if you're doing it for fun or not um, it, it's just a wonderful tool to record yourself and go back and then you could see the things that you weren't that weren't coming to your mind and how you were dealing with things and yeah you can I mean we are we are critical of ourselves all the time but the whole part about it is uh, we look for positive, the positivity of all of this, right? So look at your paintings and such and say, you know what, that looks pretty good. That really does look pretty good. That's not bad, you know. Um, and, you know, yeah, yeah, we could have always did a little bit of this. We could have always do a little bit of that. Um, sometimes, you know, yeah, we did too much of this. That's just natural. It's a natural thing. Um, but don't let that get to you, you know. I mean, for me, the whole idea is for enjoyment and for peace. And, um, you know, it's personal time and it's a very safe fun, effective way of of create being creative without, you know, um, in your life. It, it's one way that is it's very healthy and stimulating to your imagination. And it's hands-on. There's, you're not, it's not like you're in a band. You're not playing with nobody else you don't have an audience you don't, you know <clears throat> so it's all those things and even more so normally when I paint I don't set myself up in situations where I have to come and try to go in between things okay like for example this camper Okay, normally I, I, and I'm not, you know, I'm not professional. I wasn't 
t taught in school or nothing for painting and drawing either for that matter but anyways I so you know subject matters such as uh, and objects like that small RV um, just came off at the top of my head and you know so I'm just putting a little bit of cabbage in here garbage um, you can use yellow ochre or you can use um, some lemon yellow here and there or you can just use a, a darker green to go against or darker blue to go against those uh, grass those grass effects there but I like to mix it up sometimes and you know patches of this here and patches of that there and you know um, as you can see my palette is very small it's one of those that you know you could buy for like three four dollars and then just a couple uh, colors of paint. So now with the Hake brush, I'm just putting in some darker blue, depression blue, and I'm just going along the mountain and then I, it kind of takes me around um, the edge to the left. Now that I covered up those trees, uh, and it's wet enough, I took the card that I used for the rocks earlier and I just lifted up some of the paint to give it those uh, tree effects. I tried it over here. And um, so what I did here was I, I'm kind of putting in lemon yellow here and there just to make it some of that pop out okay um, some of that grassy area to pop out even though it's just brush right it could be whatever you want to make it though um, so now I'm like okay a little bit more blue, a mixture of cobalt and um, Prussian blue. I'm just kind of going over this uh, pond or lake. I know it looks very green and you know, there's nothing wrong with that either. Uh, there are tons, you know, of uh, green ponds everywhere um green you know <clears throat> they have all different kinds of shades of browns in them and you know blacks and blues and you know just different you know ponds are interesting water is very interesting so i'm using an umbra here because i felt like i wanted something to stick out and so I figured I'd put a tree there. And while I was at it, I was like, okay, well, let me take, grab some of that color lightly and let's start going over this uh, RV here. I'm looking at different colors now. It's, this is more like a, a gray color, almost a paint gray color. And I'm just kind of, uh, now I'm dressing up the RV, okay? This is the tedious part. Um, you know, this is the part where, you know, you can, you can make a very long video by just doing detail stuff. Simple detail like this, you know? That's why I don't do a lot of detail. I don't do detail videos uh, in general. 
because it just it's very time consuming and I don't have that kind of time to go over you know to do a really good detail uh, video so you know my videos are, are very easily uh, you know done quick quickly done and so I'm using burnt sienna here for the window the door and that little bitty uh, see that little bitty window above the kitchen sink that's what that is if you ever been in RVs you know what I'm talking about and uh, try to give it a little bit of a shape there because it is supposed to be on an angle um, but it is what it is uh, so it could be a tent or it could be a cabin uh, whatever it, it's just uh, something I put in there from the top of my head <laughs> And um, I'll put, try to put like a little barbecue grill right there. Basically just a tea. You know. Um, I didn't want to put too much grass around the RV because I was thinking, our, you know, when you go camping, RVs don't really have a ton of grass around them. Like tall grass, right? So... That's kind of why I left it a little bare there. But it, I come back with the fan brush using some uh, dark blues. and Just to kind of give it little uh, grass effects here and there. And that's basically what I'm going to do here. And then I'll throw in a few birds. And that'll be it. And, you know, I want to, I do, I really want to thank you guys a whole lot for, you know, watching me and watching these channels. And I hope that you're learning. I hope that you find enjoyment out of these. There's a million great, tremendous uh, artists, you know, everywhere. Another thing is please do support your local artist. And, um, you know, because it's, you know... It's they're put in a, they put in a lot of work to create magical magical uh, things paintings music you know there's so much wonderful art out there so please support your local artists and thank you so much for viewing I really appreciate it and you know if you enjoy my videos. Uh, and you haven't liked them or if you if you like it please hit like and if you want to see more hit subscribe and the notification bell it don't cost nothing and it'll be you know you'll see my videos when they come up and thanks again i want to wish you a wonderful day a great evening a great morning wherever you are whatever time you're watching this and thank you guys i really appreciate it sincerely yours john